<laughs> Sorry, someone just drove, drove by and their look saw, they could drive by and they saw me sitting in front of a camera here in the living room. It's kind of funny. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. This is Essential Presents. Um, and Merry New Year. Man, oh man. One of the things that, ha that I, I just always come back to every, um, every New Year is, is this recognition that so many people have hopes. So many people have plans. So many people have, dr so many people have dreams. Like this idea that, um, hey, today starts a new leaf. Today starts a new chapter. Today starts a new page. A new anything. It's a new year. Which is really beautiful and really powerful. And it in some ways is the triumph, right, of... I guess you could say the triumph of optimism um, over pessimism, triumph of hope over despair. It is the triumph of uh, dreams over <laughs> sometimes the things that crush our dreams, uh, failure. Uh, it, it's the triumph of, I just, there's something positive about it. And that's the key word, right? Something positive. It's, it's, not, it's not passive. It's not negative. It has a sense of like, I can move forward. In so many ways, the, uh, what we might say, the spirit of New Year's has a lot to do with the Christian life, the interior life. Here's what I mean. Last year for you might have been filled with a lot of great things, a lot of successes, a lot of wins, a lot of huge blessings. Most likely uh, with those blessings and wins and successes, there were also um, some pains and sufferings and losses and failures because um, it's life, right? And life has all of those things. But the question is, in response to life, in response to the, the, the falling down, in response to the being injured by others, in response to those failures, what do we do? Like, how do we respond as Christians? What do we, how do we respond as those who know that Jesus Christ loves us, he knows our name, he loves us, and he has actually given him his, his, his life, he's conquered death in order to give us life, to give us a future full of hope. The, the worst evil in the world is sin. I'm just going to say it like that. The, the worst evil in the world is sin. And so you can look, look back over your last year and say, I had a lot of bad things in my life. And I, I wouldn't argue with that, I mean, because I don't know. Um, but the worst thing that happened to you in the course of your life last, last year, most likely, was sin. I mean, there could be real tragedies as well. I mean, I'm not trying to minimize those in any way, shape, or form. So please don't, um, don't, don't hear that. Um, your pain is real. Your suffering is real. Tragedy is real. Nonetheless, the worst tragedy is sin. And it has the worst effects in us too. It has the potential to crush us. It has the potential to lead to two things, one of two things, or maybe both. Um, one is uh, discouragement, the other is embarrassment. A lot of times, that, that, a lot of times those are the things, those are the two things that can keep us from moving forward. Uh, we know that even when I fall, even when I fail, even when I sin, he has a plan for me, he has hope for me, he has a way for me to move forward. And that way to move forward is the sacrament of confession. That when Jesus breathed on the apostles at the end of John's gospel, and he says, receive the Holy Spirit. Those whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Those whose sins you hold bound are hell bound. That we know that Jesus extended his ability as God to forgive sins to those apostles, to those ministers that he consecrated and ordained and dedicated and sent out into the world to forgive other people's sins. We know that way to move forward is when we, when we fall in is confession. But, what can keep us back? What can hold us back from moving forward? As I said, discouragement or embarrassment. And that discouragement of being able to, to say like, what the heck, I've tried so many times and I can't move forward. I just, like, I've been wrestling with this thing for so long and I just, I want it to be done and so I'm just quitting. I'm giving up. That's it. I'm done. Discouragement. Or embarrassment. Like, I don't want to have to go back to confession for the same thing. This is the priest. He knows my name. He could probably confess my sins to me ahead of time if the priest remembered your, your, your sins outside of confession or in, in confession, I guess. But discouragement and embarrassment, they have no place really in the life of the Christian, particularly when it comes to taking that step forward. Because why? Because, because discouragement and embarrassment keep us in the past and we're not able to move forward. Discouragement and embarrassment keep us locked in the failure rather than being, being, being able to experience the freedom of Jesus. Because discouragement and embarrassment, they hold us bound when Jesus Christ wants you to be able to run free, to be his. And so the answer to discouragement is what? Is hope.
And hope is not like, okay, I'll get it this time. Hope is not optimism. We've said this before here, and I'm saying it again. Um, hope is, uh, I, I describe it like this. Uh, hope is trust in another extended into the future. To have faith in Jesus is to trust in him. And so hope, hoping in Christ is my faith in Jesus, my trust in Jesus extended into the future. That I know in the future, I'm going to be the same mess I am. And in the future, this life is still going to be pretty difficult. It's going to have its wins and losses. It's going to have its, its, its victories and its, and its failures. And I don't trust in myself. I trust in him. And that trust in him has been extended into the future. Therefore, I hope. So even though I know myself and I can be easily discouraged by the fact that I know myself, I will not be discouraged. I love hope. I trust in him. So when I go to confession, I'm not saying like, God, this is a future, is this a promise of future perfection? That's not what confession is at all. Going to confession is saying, I trust in you. And I trust that you're the same God who freed me in the past and forgave me in the past. You will be there in the future. I know you will be there in the future. I know that when I get there in the future, I will still be um, needing your help. But that's okay, because you will still be there to give me your help. So hope in the face of discouragement and humility in the face of embarrassment. Hope and humility. Humility in the face of embarrassment. I understand. No, here, let, me, let me be clear. I get it. Like, I understand that sometimes confession is embarrassing. I, I get it. I, that, that, you know, bringing here's my junk to another person, inside confession or outside confession, can be um, discourage, discouraging and embarrassing. It can be difficult. At the same time, if you and I walk in humility, then we know we, we're, not, we're not pretending. We're not pretending to be better than we are. We're not pretending to be more than we are. We're also not pretending to be less than we are. Humility is simply about telling the truth. When, 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 when things are difficult, I sometimes fall. And I know that the Lord has made me for more than that. So here's what I'm going to do. When I fall, I'm going to fall into his arms. <laughs> when I trip, I'm going to stumble into the confessional. My best friend, Nick, he always says that. He says, if you fall, fall into the confessional. If you fall, fall forward right into the confessional, right into the arms of mercy. So as we move forward from the old, near, old year into the new year, don't let those two demons of discouragement and embarrassment hold you back, but to run forward with hope, not trusting in yourself, but that trust in another extended to the future. Run forward with humility, being willing to walk in the truth of this is the truth about me. This is the truth about God. This is the truth about life. I am in this life on purpose. You are in this life on purpose. God knows your name. He loves you. He's conquered death in order to give you a new life. So happy new year and happy new life with hope and humility. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.